If you've been listening to Radio Merseyside over the past couple of months, you'll know that we've been involved in the national BBC Kit Out the Nation campaign. People were asked if they could donate any kind of sports kit or equipment in an effort to encourage the nation's youngsters to get more active again following all the lockdowns, etc. Now, Witness Rugby Union Club volunteered to be a local drop-off point for stuff and received loads of equipment and kit that will be appreciated by local schools and community sports clubs around the Holson area. One amazing donation came from Sharon Miller, who owns Boyell's Sports Shop in Widnes. This morning, hockey equipment and kit was handed over to Runcorn Hockey Club, who serve both Runcorn and Widnes. I went along to the Wids and began by asking the Widnes Rugby Union President Martin Richards why they had decided to get involved in the campaign. Well, we recognise that there is a need to get youngsters back into sport. We particularly want to get some youngsters coming through and uh, of course it goes all across the piece from football, rugby, rugby league, rugby union, hockey and all other sports. So as much as we could uh, contribute, then uh, we were delighted to get involved. Sharon here from Boydell's, Owns Boydell's, what a donation. The hockey stuff that's just been handed over to Halton Sports Club with their hockey section. Sharon, yeah, I've got to ask you the same question. You saw what was going on. You have got a, a connection with Witness Rugby Union Club, but what a donation. So why did you feel, yeah, this is going to that? I just feel that when the kids are in with a team or part of a team, it's what they get out of being part of a team. It's what the friendships they build, it's the core values that they build, it's the sportsmanship, it's the respect that comes from being part of any team. That includes hockey, rugby, any, any sort of team. I just think it was the right thing to do. We, we've come out of this COVID, but we need to get back to normality and things now. We need to sort all this out. We're, uh, we talked about, and you know, Martin just said about, yeah, there's kit coming from all sport, but this one from you for, for the hockey, I'm going to talk to Derek from the, the hockey club in, in a second. Uh, hockey, is it a game when you were younger? That you, yeah, you yeah, I, I ah, did, right. yes, I did play hockey, okay. I did play for Cheshire, I did play for the school and everything. It is something that I do, I did enjoy, and I, I think that it does need a bit of an input, because I do sit on the sports partnership development as well, and they say they are struggling with hockey. Right. So I just thought it was maybe a bit of an uplift for the hockey clubs. Additionally, it was a game for girls, but it yes. isn't. It's a mixed game. Yeah, yeah, it is a mixed game. Both boys and girls should play it because they really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah Derek is here then from... Runcorn Hockey Club. That's right, Runcorn Hockey Club. But you do, I know, uh, you encourage, uh, you cover the witness area as yeah, well together. Yeah. So you've got some uh, lovely hockey uh, stuff on Don Noted. Uh, how grateful are you for that? Much appreciated. It saves us going out and trying to fund it all ourselves. I mean, fantastic. So uh, I'll tell you what, Jan, I'll leave the last word with you. Kit Out the Nation, that was the campaign that the BBC, you know, wanted to have. It's been successful. You've played your part in it, all of you have here. That uh, Was it right? Was, was it needed, do you think, because of what happened with COVID, that the young people couldn't get out as much and come on, let's get them out and encourage them to do so? Yeah, and I think it was really needed. And I think it should carry on as well. Something else should be put in its place to carry this on. And let's get the word out there, get the kids back into sports. Mm -hmm. I did say it was the last word, but uh, Martin, <laughs> you're here looking at me as well. I, 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 and I'm thinking, yeah, we've heard about hockey, we've heard about all of the sports as well. Is it the same? For, for Because I, I do know that over the years, this famous club that we have stood here outside of, you know, times that it's had, you know, eight teams on, on, on duty on a Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. But particularly I'm asking about what's the younger age groups? How's that doing here? So the younger age groups, we have been, traditionally we've had a very strong mini and junior section um, unfortunately the, the minis has fallen away partly due to Covid, partly due to a few other factors. We have got um, three junior teams still under 16s, under 15s and under 13s so we're hoping that that will build together and of course we have got the Colts um, they're playing uh, quite a few games this season and then at senior level we have first, seconds and third teams so anybody who wants to come down and join in playing rugby, then you'll be more than welcome here. Please give us a try. Absolutely. Now, listen, I'm just thinking, the sun's beating down here on the car park. It's a wonderful November Wednesday morning. I was about as, there's not many cars on the car park. I was about as putting a couple of coats down, getting a couple of them hockey sticks out. Three aside, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it. It's awesome. <laughs>
Oh, great stuff. And uh, yeah, a special thanks as well um, from uh, the WIDS, uh, Widness Rugby Union Club, and, uh, and to Sharon as well, uh, who owns uh, Boydell's in Widness because uh, Runcorn Hockey Club, well, uh, they've benefited from uh, a really nice donation. There's plenty of other stuff there as well, and some local schools will be getting it when we get it out from, uh, from the WIDS. So thank you to everyone.